Could you state your name and your organization? <laughs> I'm Jamie Love. I go by, uh, well, my legal name is James. I work for Knowledge Ecology International. It's an NGO. We have an office in Washington, D.C. and uh, Geneva. And uh, we, we follow a lot of the trade negotiations that have to do with uh, intellectual property rights. Okay. Um, and we're here in Singapore right now. Um, do you want to tell me why you're here? Well, I'm here. There's a ministerial meeting about the, uh, the, the, the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, Agreement. And this is, this is where they're supposed to close out a lot of the political issues at this meeting. And how's it going so far? Well, it's been frustrating. I mean, it, as, as a lot of people know, there's a lot of secrecy involved in negotiations. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that uh, USTR was able to meet with us and, and give us a briefing or give me a briefing when we were here. That was positive and it was substantive. We appreciate that. But generally, most of the secrecy is completely unnecessary. Like they're having a press conference right now uh, where we can't even sit in the back of the room and listen to what happens. We have to wait till the secret press conference is over and we can come back and then we can try and get information from the reporters. Our problems on the text are that uh, in the areas of patents and copyrights, there's a lot of is areas where either the text is really bad, which means it's uh, against uh, consumers, it's, you know, it's bad for consumers, or it's uh, against the innovation, or it's just poorly written. Or there's areas where supposedly it's okay, but it's, it's written in a way that's not easy to understand and could be interpreted either way. The reason that's important is that they're going to uh, try and put in an investor state dispute settlement uh, provision in, in, in this agreement so that private companies can actually litigate what the text of the, of the agreement means. And so I don't think most people are, are, are really familiar with how that can, can change things, but we're afraid that if the text is really written in a way where there's multiple interpretations of, 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 of what it means, that that, uh, that investor state process is going to be bad news for us. And do you want to add anything before we end the interview? Well, you know, it's, uh, uh, I think the whole idea of conducting these, these negotiations secret, if you look at the disclosures this week from WikiWeeks about the, the incredibly important issues that are involved in this negotiation and all the uh, 28, 29 chapters that are involved, plus all the countless annexes there, it's, it's incredible to me that politicians and political parties are really not taking positions against the secrecy of these kind of talks. I mean, it's, it's really, it's an asymmetric secrecy because in the United States there's between six and 700 people that are considered cleared advisors that, that have uh, opportunities to see tax that, the, that is secret from the public. Uh, they have very close relationships, so it's really about keeping the public in the dark, not, not big companies, and I think that's really something that uh, just seems so wrong, and I, I'm just a little surprised that politically that there isn't more awareness. You see some some actions in the European Parliament, in Australia, in Chile, a handful of members of Congress, but not nearly enough on the transparency side. Thank you. Thank you.